Hi folks, Max from GalaxyTabHacks.com um, It's been a while that I've updated my Tab 10.1 uh, but recently I've actually lost it and I found it in my house because I have so many Android devices uh, but I have finally figured out um, I'm not figured out, I've installed a 4.4.4 ROM um, If you're looking for a good uh, Android 4.4 KitKat upgrade definitely check this one out um, There's some modifications I did uh, or tweaks or to the settings uh, once you install this ROM of course you'll get the latest Android 4.4.4 since Samsung has not updated Galaxy Tab um, since I think ICS um, you know you can still update to the latest KitKat it does bring a ton of performance improvements um, and also you can overclock this ROM uh, up to 1.6 gigahertz uh, but I don't recommend that much. I find it actually runs faster um, at 1.4 gigahertz. So I would set it there. That's one uh, one thing I made. And uh, let me go ahead and stop this. This is all slowing down. Um, my tap, meh. I'll just go. Uh, there are some customizations you can do with Omni. Uh, Omni ROM here. Uh, if you want brightness controller, n uh, notification count. Um, smart pull down, I wouldn't mess with that. That's only for, I believe, um, phones. You're going to have traffic indicators. For some reason, it's not showing up here. Ah, what happened? Um, all right. Yeah, I think these are all for smartphones, so they don't work. Sorry. Um, navigation bar, you can go ahead and change the button layouts. Um, you can actually add one more menu button here, so I did. You can go ahead and add that. And uh, dimensions, you can change the height. Um, quick launch shortcuts. This is where you drag from bottom up uh, navigation ring, so you can add, um, I think only two here. Oh, no, no, sorry. Hit there, go from here. You can actually add up to three different uh, applications. So instead of Google Now, um, if you want something else, select application. You can set it to some of your favorite apps, like you can make it go to Chrome. Um, and also this one, let's set it to another app. And let's go to applications here. And let's go to my DSLR controller. So that will bring you a couple more shortcuts. So you got the four, and also if you swipe up, you can go have three more there. And also there's Omni Switch, which you can use. Um, go ahead and turn this on, set uh, start on boot. Once you reboot, you should be able to add your favorite apps. Um, go ahead and go ahead and go to manage favorites and add all of your favorite apps here. And uh, you'll have this thing where you can tap out and go real quick to any of your favorite apps. Also, I did install Nova Launcher. Uh, once you install Nova Launcher, um, go to look and feel and get rid of all the animation because it'll make it faster. Uh, change it to faster than light. Animation faster than light. Um, and I believe you can also change the gestures. I'm oh, sorry. Um, the scroll effect. Change, get rid of the, um, just have no scroll effect. I think that actually makes it faster. Eh. You can play around with it, but those small changes should make the UI a little bit faster. Because uh, all of the animations, it's just not built for the CPU on this uh, old Tab 10.1. Um, but looking pretty good. You should get pretty good performance out of it. Better than previous Android 4.2 Jelly Bean and all the other stuff. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, there is still lag even with overclocking. I mean, you know, you can't get past it. Uh, you'll have to get a new tablet. But um, with this one, at least you'll get the best... A performance out of it um, as far as just right now uh, so definitely check it out for this week's uh, round the week and also check out I'm um, giving away a Galaxy S4 active go check it out over at highonandroid.com um, scroll looking pretty good not too bad so I've finally upgraded to my 4.4.4 looking good so definitely check it out for this week's round the week and do let me know I do have full um, installation instructions you just have to update your clockwork mod or Twerp recovery to the latest Twerp. Uh, it's all on my site, so check that out for installation. Uh, and uh, make sure you install G apps to get Play Store. And also, this ROM does not come with a browser. So, after installing this ROM, make sure you have internet, go to Play Store, 
uh, download Chrome or your favorite browser, Dolphin, uh, whatever. Anyway, that was a quick overview of uh, Android 4.4.4 KitKat ROM for your Galaxy Tab 10.1. Yes, this ROM does come with root uh, as all custom ROMs. Um, so you can run all of your favorite apps. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, if you have a Galaxy Tab 10.1, um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxytabhacks.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.